Hello, hello, and hello, and happy Sunday to each and every one of you all. This video is from the 25th of December through the 31st of December. And keep in mind, we have a special video coming up very soon for everybody, so make sure your notifications are set to all, to all of my sea goats. Yes, we are officially in Capricorn season. We're in Capricorn season and congratulations to everyone who won books, who won readings, who won all those things. And like I said, you know, keep your ears and your eyes peeled so that you can see when I do giveaways. You all know that I'm on Instagram and I'm on YouTube. I don't have any other social media platforms. These are This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description. There's never any uh, any pressure to get a personal reading. Just want everybody to know that. If you can get what you can get out of the general reading, save your coins, right? Um, also, we do not, 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 we do not solicit donations. So if anybody sends you a text message asking for a donation, it is not us. Report them and keep it moving forward. Let's get it. Let's get it. So we had a we had a new moon in Capricorn started kicked off on the 23rd of the month, right? So you'll know if things are out of alignment, if you're having issues with your backbones, your joints, your knees, your hair, your skin, right? Remember, um, that's your root, your root. You all are, you know, that your root area, that lower region, your root and your sacral chakra, right? So if anything is out of alignment, you'll feel it in those parts. And so this is where uh, Capricorn, you all are, we, we are in a cycle of initiating change in our lives. Like you're taking, the you know, to initiate change, right? So you got the questions from last Sunday. Get prepared for some questions for it today. Let's get into it as we move towards the first quarter moon in Aries, which like you is a cardinal sign. It's a divine masculine cardinal sign, fire sign at that. All right, I'm talking to you if you have uh, Capricorn anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Also, if you're on the cusp of Aquarius or Sagittarius, I'm talking to you too. Here we go. Boom. Magician card, right? So on the 29th of, on the 29th of, December, Mercury goes retrograde, right? So it's still pre-shadow retrograde. So when planets go retrograde, it's a wonderful thing because while planets don't move backwards and they don't move at a slower pace, it gives you an opportunity to slow down and start learning. Mercury is the, the planet of learning and learn more, right? So we have the lover's card. We also have the knight of cups. We also have the Ace of Wands. We also have the Nine of Swords. We also have the Six of Pentacles. All right, so for somebody, I'm seeing new love coming to somebody's life. Like, so I'm going to try to walk this a little slow because, again, as you are releasing one thing, something else is trying to come in, right? So just like when we do these moon phase, have these moon phases and cycles, you're releasing one thing, but you're making room for another, okay? So that's how all of this works. So first, the communication comes down to somebody that you're a whole without anybody else. Like, that's a moment of clarity, like pure consciousness, how we all come into this realm, right? When we feel nurtured, when we feel like we are, like we are already in the know, K-N-O-W, we're already in the know. This is a person who feels whole. They feel complete, right? They're not looking for a better half. They're not looking for their soulmate. They're not looking for whatever. You're not looking for anything. You already feel whole and complete, right? And so the message, this is uh, attached to Mercury, is coming down that I am my own I am my own knight in shining armor, right? When I say I am, I'm talking about the great I am, I'm talking about God. God is the knight in shining armor, right? God is the, the energy, Mother Earth. Um, you all are the father of the zodiac, but then also you, have the, you, you can't have the divine masculine without the divine feminine and, not, and, and feel complete, right? This is where you feel complete. Your divine masculine to your divine feminine is complete. I know how to get back on my horse um, after coming out of this right here, sleepless nights, not certain, not sure. This could mean that somebody left something behind or severed ties with something, right? And you see all of these swords right here, something somebody said or did cut like a sword, right? And you're saying, once I left those things behind, I got back on my horse. This is you putting water over those sword, 
those those cuts through words or somebody's actions and i'm getting back on my and i got my i'm slow and steady getting back out there slow and steady moving back out there i'm not looking for my twin flame because i am my twin flame remember your twin flame is never supposed to cut you like a sword with their words or their actions and they're certainly not supposed to blow towards you right twin flame is only there to inspire you right inspire you to take action through through love their heart chakra is in alignment if somebody wants to be clear about a twin flame they will never burn you they'll choose their words very carefully right hey you know i think you should try this because but they'll say it in a way not in a manipulative way like it's a low vibrating manipulative way they'll say to you like if for instance if they say um hmm you know you're really good at communication so you should you should really go after that position i can help you with x y and z versus you don't make enough money you don't do this you don't do that in their own way thinking they're inspiring you but when they're really blow torching you they're really cutting you with a sword so i do see somebody on their on their horse when you see horse you're talking about hard work you're talking about um, just the, what, what a horse symbolizes, right? Right. So you're, you're thinking, okay, I'm a hardworking person. I'm going to get to where I, um, you know, where I want to go. Right. So horse represents some, a majestic, it represents a majestic animal. It, rep, it embodies spiritual power of independence, freedom, nobleness, endurance, confidence triumph that kind of thing right it represents you saving yourself emotionally from sword wounds right emotionally saving yourself from sword wounds and then trying to pretend like everything is okay when you could have been hurt by something right and so looking for it looks like somebody had been looking for people's acceptance right looking for people's acceptance somebody feels whole and somebody's going to feel like they're lighting their own flame also keep in mind that mars has been retrograde for a while mars is the energy planet and mars also is aries ruling planet so we're moving towards the first quarter moon in aries so right now capricorn while we're in this new moon phase of capricorn as we're about to cross over and start feeling the effects of the first quarter moon in aries you all should be still putting your list together of things that you want to manifest in this cycle and thinking only i'm i'm going to be the one to initiate change i'm not just sitting back waiting for something to happen so in your case it's going to really put a fire up under you to tap into that masculine energy hopefully that makes sense to somebody i'm not looking for somebody else's approval if i want it i'm going after i'm going to initiate change i'm going to initiate change just like right now, everybody is starting to feel, get a, a better glimpse into through the eyes of a Capricorn. You're going to start feeling the glimpse of like feeling the feeling like how do I, the eyes of an Aries, right? Both are, both of, both signs represents like um, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, and uh, Aries initiate the change of a season, right? And so what happens from one season to the next? Especially if you live in an area where you experience fall, summer, spring, winter, right? Usually there's like a rain to flush out the debris from the past season as you move into the next one. There's a change of season, right? So that's what's happening. Some of that rain may look like tears. It may look like I'm just working myself and just constantly sweating. That's why I've been talking about sacral chakra music because water is very powerful. But if you really pay attention, I'm literally talking about all the chakras from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra, right? So when we talk about the moon in Aries, you're talking about your solar plexus chakras. This is where you said you wanted to be between the ages of 15 and 21. The solar plexus chakra is located at the center of your torso above your navel, just below where your ribs part, right? So it governs your midsection and your, um, and your, your, um, your digestive organs, right? So if you start to feel like, you know, headache or issues with your teeth or your, your, um, your arteries or like your stomach, like feels like nervous jitters or whatever, like, okay, I got to take some kind of action. Pay attention to all of those things. Like pay attention, 
right? Here's some questions that you can ask yourselves. You know, Sundays are for questions and Mondays are for just kind of like a um, um, helping you to kind of, um, you know, add on to Sunday's readings. Here's some questions you want to ask yourself as we move towards this first quarter moon in Aries, which kicks off on the 29th of this month is one, are you struggling with low self-worth? Second question is, are you procrastinating, perhaps stuck in a relationship or a situation at home or work that you're not completely happy with? The third question is, are you repressing your emotions and feelings and consequently feeling resentful? Fourth question is, are you holding yourself back, paralyzed in unconscious fear that stops you from taking the leap into the unknown? This is really a leap of faith, right? And, and the last but not least is if you'd known that you were fully supported, what would you do? What would you do if you'd known you were fully supported, right? So this is about getting rooted and grounded. This is about your heart chakra also. Also about forgiving things, energies that have put you in this position right here, but you still got to take some kind of action. So there's a new flame coming across somebody's life. It can come in a form of a new love coming across your life. It can be, you know, some, new, some kind of new inspiration, new opportunities coming across your life. When you like, you know what, I'm complete without all, I don't need all of this you know, up and crying at night. Why am I still holding on to X, Y, and Z? Right here, we have the seven of swords, the eight of cups. We have the ace of wands. We have the nine of cups. We have the five of swords and also the magician card, right? So again, magician card is coming out twice. So the messages coming through are going to be very, very clear that you are complete with or without someone or with or without something, right? Something is going to be exposed in people, the lying, the manipulative, the energy, the 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 deception, all of that is going to be exposed, right? And and so it has been exposed, but again, somebody is like, okay, I'm too afraid to take a leap of faith, right? So again, those questions should help you. Remember, new moon energy is about sitting down, writing out what you want to manifest during this cycle. First quarter moon is about taking action, right? The the moon is going to look like a half of a moon in the sky, so your past is pulling you back. I know I wrote this list, but I'm not really sure if I'm ready to manifest these things. That fire up under you is going to make it crystal clear with these messages coming through double time. They could be coming through your dreams. They can be coming through other people that's, hey, listen, there's something better for me. There's a better job. There's a better romantic relationship. There's a better friendship. Something else is better for me out there because I'm, I don't have to deal with this hostility. It makes me look bad. It makes it it makes me, you know, almost hard and of heart, right? So yeah, once it's exposed, I need somebody to take some kind of action. You're going to be so glad that you stepped into your own light, right? Yes, though bad as you, because again, this fire bowl right here, you're going to be tossing some names into this fire bowl. I need to drop it into that bowl, right? I'm already complete without this. I need to step into my own light. So it could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. They could say something to you where you just feel like, okay, I need to move on from this. I need to step into my own light, right? So again, it's really about your twin flame. Whoever your twin flame is, could be a job, a person, place, a thing, inspiring you and not burning you, masking it as I'm trying to get you to move out of a comfort zone. It should be done in love no matter what, right? Not causing your heart chakras out of alignment, to be out of alignment. So here we have the Eight of Cups. Some people can only fake it. Well, that's everybody. Can only fake it but for so long. Some people can't control their emotions because they're just that frustrated. But for you, you're going to feel like emotionally you hit the jackpot. Because again, you have taken the initiative to, to move away from something that has, you know, really just kind of sort of burned you, right? Here we have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. Right, so Ace of Wands lets me know that somebody's third eye is opening. Your third eye. And we're still talking about fire energy, solar plexus chakra, right? Solar plexus chakra deals with um, your personal power and your identity. Your personal power and your identity. Some people don't recognize that a relationship has been over because on one hand, people know that you all are the hardest working sign in the zodiac. And they know that in you lies security. That's why I want you all to understand your worth and your value, Capricorns. But on another hand, it almost comes off like you're the one that's obsessed. 
Like you're the one that's obsessed with something or somebody like no matter what they say or do to you, you you're not going to leave them behind. You're the the relationships in front of you, you'll come across as hostile, shutting down, super serious, melancholy, can't laugh, tightly wound when really it should be taking the sword and severing ties with people who have burned you or their words or actions cut you like a sword, right? Stop letting them put their water, their emotions, their their liquids into your universe. And you all know what I'm talking about, but here we have the Ace of, Ace of Wands, right? So you're leaving something behind. Again, I'm talking to you if um, if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart. Let's, let's, um, let's keep it moving forward. 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 Yeah. I want to make sure that somebody is not being taken advantage of and not really seeing it. Like some, I, I feel like here, somebody has been in this yo-yo situation. And remember, I, I mentioned to you all, like you have a lot of, um, you have a lot of ancestors around you that's helping you through this process. And again, somebody has had enough sleepless nights. Your default is to just work, 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 work. But something is happening where it's it'll put the brakes on something where it is going to help. That's why I've been saying flush it all out with sacral chakra music, right? So you can get your, you can see your root again. You can see your root chakra, where your stability really lies, where you can start seeing, hey, this thing is, this thing is clouding my my personal power and my identity my solar plexus chakra this thing is throwing my heart chakra out of alignment what's going to flush all of that out water right so pay attention so let's see what else we have here let's see what else we have here so yeah kudos to you you're not looking for anybody else's approval as a matter of fact whatever you were looking for as far as approval the approval was already here somebody just couldn't see it because again all of this lamenting over something you know, like your eyes just watered and you just blurred. You can't really see looking for somebody else's approval, trying to prove to people that, hey, I can do it. I'm this and I'm that. I, I can, you know, I, I don't need your money. I don't need your sex. I don't need your time. I don't need your energy. But really, um, so so look for that something up under you to kind of sort of put put the flame up under you to um get you moving, get you moving beyond something, walking away from something. Finally, I'm telling you, somebody's going to feel like, uh, somebody's going to feel like a, um, like you hit the lottery emotionally, really just like you hit the lottery emotionally. And if you've been flushing things out, yeah, somebody's been lamenting over something. Here we have the five of cups. We have the four of pentacles, the queen of cups, the nine of pentacles and the 10 of cups. See what source is trying to do is move somebody towards this right here. So you have a, somebody has a desire to settle down and have their own family. And the way that somebody in your life may have been doing it um, has been counterproductive. It's actually, it's actually causing you to seem like you're the one that's shut down in a low vibrating Capricorn when actually you're trying to protect your, you get sources trying to help you to learn how to protect your peace of mind and be in perfect harmony with yourself. Okay. So stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, and not be like this, lamenting over, you know, I really want, you know, I felt like this was my person. Again, if you're with your twin flame, of course, I hope this doesn't resonate with you. Also, source is saying, continue working hard and be conservative with your time, which is your money. Be conservative with your time, which is your money, because the things that you've been praying for are coming your way. But if you're with the wrong person, it's, it's, your energy is... You're also like somebody who's spinning their wheels and not going anywhere, not really going anywhere. Like almost like, like this person is just using you for, and I'm telling you, source is so gracious and source is so awesome that source will put a block on things just so that they won't get it. So stay focused because this is where you're headed towards financial independence. Again, it's already happening. Like in hindsight, somebody's going to say, you know what, if I had really stopped working myself into the oblivion, like, you know, trying to work myself, trying to get certain things out of my mind, I would have seen that source was positioning people around me that had more money than me, that was putting people around me that had access to other things more so than I did. So that to show me, I'm giving you a glimpse into the life that you could have, but you got this situation over here that one day they're complimenting you and the next day they're insulting you. Your twin flame would never do that. 
I don't care what reverse psychology they think they're using. It's, it doesn't work like that, right? Here we have the Queen of Cups. All you'll have for them is compassion. But somebody has been pouring out a lot of emotions. And remember that emotion also is connected to your creativity. That creativity also makes you a lot of money. So how you use, how you use your energy is going to be important here. Like I said, on the 29th, Mercury goes retrograde. So those messages are going to be coming through crystal clear, right? And But right now they're pre-shadow. So they're coming through. They're coming through your dreams. They're coming through as however source can send those messages through. Somebody just feels like, okay, I still need to see it. I, I, it's still like, tell me directly what I need to do. Let me give you all an example. So I mentioned that, you know, I, like, okay, I'm giving you an example of what I'm talking about. And I want you all to really receive this in love. I mentioned uh, a while ago, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, we're coming up on, we're coming up on, um, we're coming up on Capricorn season. What do you guys want for your birthdays, right? So um, obviously I can't provide a husband. I can't provide a wife. <laughs> I can stand in agreement with whatever you're praying for, but I need to know what you're praying for. Like, what kind of husband and wife you want? What kind of, I can stand in agreement with that, you guys being a member of my soul tribe. But I, but there were there are some Capricorns who reached out to me directly and said, I would like a free reading. And guess what they got? A free reading. Um, and there are some Capricorns that reached out to me and said, I want this for my birthday. And it was something that I could provide. So I was like, oh, sure. Yes. Tell me where to send it. I was really trying to help somebody start like really operate in true Capricorn form. You all mark the beginning of a change of season. You're a cardinal sign. Cardinal signs are the initiators, right? So... While some of the requests were funny, um, and well, you know, and plus I LOL some of them because it was funny asking me for a husband or wife. I'm like, let me see if I can look in my box and see if I can find, you know, a husband or wife <laughs> for somebody or a partner or whatever for somebody. I really want you all to um, start initiating, like asking for things and being okay if something can't, if a person can't provide it. Like either somebody can say yes or they can say no and be okay with that. Like be okay with, all right, well, I'm with somebody and we're not on the same frequency. I don't have to, I don't have to, um, vibrate low. I can just recognize that, Hey, I do want a stable life. And if I keep getting burned by my job or I keep getting burned by this friend or I keep getting burned by, you know, a love interest or their words and their actions are cutting me like a sword, it's okay that I can move on. I can initiate the change. I don't have to wait for something so bad to happen that I feel like, okay, I can't believe they did this to me, right? You don't have to do that, Capricorn. You all are, somebody has leaving a lot of creativity on the table that's going to make you very, very rich, okay? I, I don't know. I, that's the plainest I can say it. Somebody is leaving a lot of energy, a lot of emotion in one area of your life with sources like, no, nah, I need you to turn that, like turn that corner, put that creativity over here. You know, somebody mistreating you, write a book about it. Make millions off of that. Don't mention them because you're not trying to give them. They already kicked themselves out of <laughs> they already kicked themselves out of your universe about how they said it or how they did it. Or hey, you want to learn how to play a new instrument or you want to do you want to sing or you want put all that emotion in your voice, but get that energy out of your universe because they burned you or cut you like a sword. That's what I'm trying to help somebody with. It's like if you if if this like this fine line, looking at your cards here, this like this fine line of like somebody may be trying to justify it in their mind, staying on a job or in a romantic relationship or friendship. Like I feel inspired. Like, you know, I know how they're saying it is harsh and it comes across as mean, but maybe that's what I needed to hear in order for me to put a flame up under me. You got to recognize, um, you got to recognize like, what is your definition of love? We're talking about agape love, right? Do they get frustrated with you? Do they, do they, do they not like, sometimes you got to repeat things in order for somebody to, and that's all of us. Like you, 
that's how we learn by repetition, right? So that's what I'm saying. Like somebody is leaving a lot of creativity on the, on the spiritual table where that creativity can make you extremely wealthy. And you got some energy, like something still kind of caught up there. But source is like, I'm going to keep exposing people until I'm going to keep exposing their mean behavior, their harsh words, their words and their actions cutting you like a sword until you Capricorn take the initiative to cut them off to fire them to get them out of your space so that you can move on right so that you can move on so that you can get to your wealth that's why I keep repeating certain things because I know I can see that in looking at the cards I can see that somebody is so highly creative it's almost like a person is like man you know, when I was between the ages of 15 and 21, I remember I wanted to do this. All that creativity is like bottled up, like, okay, I'm going to do this when I grow up. I'm, this is what I'm going to be when I grow up. But then somebody could have come across somebody that they thought was their twin flame that keeps burning them and sending out confusing messages. That twin flame could be like, you feel like, okay, this job inspires me. I'm making X amount of dollar. But source is saying, I'm trying to put financial independence. Why do you like seriously, why do you why do you think that there's so many younger younger billionaires and millionaires popping up? Somebody cracked the code, right? So that's what Source is trying to tell you is that I'm put I'm positioning people around you. Like another thing that I'm I'm seeing here too, Capricorn, is that somebody has um somebody may have been in a relationship. Uh, the, the 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 best word I can use to describe somebody's energy that was around you is flat out jealousy. Y'all don't really hear me use that word a lot because jealousy is when you think about jealousy, you think about Cain and Abel, right? Like uh, like somebody's brother could kill them or wish that on them, right? It's not necessarily a physical like in the Bible, but it's more of less like killing your dreams. Like if I can't, it's a, if if I can't. If I can't make more money or I can't be at the head of your life through maybe I'm a couple of months older than you are or that I um that you know I'm I'm inspiring people or who look who I'm connected to like somebody has to really see themselves on this throne right here. You're a very very compassionate person. But I really want to see, I, when I tell y'all, because you all are members of my soul child, I want to see every Capricorn for real like rich, like ridiculously crazy rich on yachts living your absolute best life capricorns y'all out here smiling and grinning and you know flexing and flossing <laughs> that's what i want to see for you all so please capricorns y'all are way too creative to leave this kind of creativity on the table right something could have been like i said source is here we have the ace of wands we have it twice your third eye is wide open i think somebody knows exactly who or what i'm talking about but it's time to get it. It's time to be like 2023, like starting right now while we're still in 2022. This is your time. Like this is like, if I'm not rich, and this is not just about going after money, because when we're talking about wealth, we're talking about your relationships with other human beings, right? That's, that's the key thing. It's not about you having more money than this person over here. This is about you having healthy relationships where people are not burning you or their words are you're not cutting you like a sword knowing that you've already been hurt in the past you know being sneaky and low vibrating and and all of this other stuff right like i said before looking at your cards here capricorn I, i'm just seeing somebody operating in some faith i mean some serious like you may scare yourself operating in that level of faith that's what i'm seeing for you capricorn so Please step outside the comfort zone because somebody been using somebody. Somebody has been really benefiting you being in their space, taking advantage. They already know that there's wealth all over you, Capricorn. They know that. They know this wealth is all. If you start protecting yourself, start protecting yourself. You're not desperate for friends. You're not desperate for anything, really. This is already predestined right here. Your wealth already predestined. That's why that's why people want to stay connected to you. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. See how this person jumping out this treasure chest? This is you. Look at all that creativity. Wish fulfillment. Somebody better recognize a gold digger. <laughs> Somebody better record, and it's, it's not gender specific, but somebody better record, I don't care what they seem like they have or who they connected to or whatever, 
I, I, I really want you all to see you sitting on your thrones. I really want you all to see sitting on your thrones. It's going to make somebody steaming mad. When you when you pay attention to your third eye, when you pay attention to the what's, what your third eye is showing you and those dreams are coming down, if it exhausts you, it's time to go. If it exhausts you, it's time to go. Whew. So, yes, Capricorn, I, I really want to see. I, I really want to start getting some text messages. Well, I do get text messages from some of you all like, oh, my God, this just happened for me. So thank you for those. But I really want y'all, I want to see some messages come through in 2023. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, do you know? And remember, I do get some really good text messages from you all. So from just my soul tribe in general, like, you know what? You called it last year. You told me X, Y, and Z. I couldn't see it. And boom, now I'm living this X, Y, whatever it is, right? So that's what I'm seeing for you all. Please, y'all, please chanting the number eight. You got I want y'all to see it. Number eight is the money exchange number, right? You got to get that spiritual vision of how I see my life. As bad as I wanted this person to go with me. When I weigh the pros and cons of how they just, you don't even have to weigh the pros and cons. If they burn you one time, just once, just once, this is not about, well, I should have done this. And, you know, they did come back and apologize. You'll know it's your twin flame because they don't need to apologize for how they, they're coming back and they're saying to you, they, they don't even get to come back. They're saying, listen, let's talk. I need your undivided attention. They are leading with love. They're not leading with a blowtorch or a sword, okay? Including your job, including your job. Including your job. Yeah, but so I do see twin flame energy, like I said, coming across somebody's path. But that's because you recognize that you are your first twin flame and that they recognize that they their, their energy just gives off I feel what you need in your universe and you feel what I need in my universe kind of energy, right? So don't let pride get in your way. Don't let pride get in your way. See, if somebody has something going on with a Leo, like what's because this card came out, shuffled in front of you all. So yeah, I know I love all signs. So it's not talking about any sign in particular, but that Leo card came out. So somebody, somebody has... Mm, you know, I'm sending good vibrations you guys way. I'm sending good vibrations your way. Here we have the number eight again. I am successful. I'm telling you, I'm successful, right? Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight representing the, the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. So I see an infinite amount of wealth coming your way. I'm serious, but... ancestors activate <laughs> serious like yeah whoo let some signs come through Th this amount of creativity is directly connected to your wealth i see books for somebody like writing screenplays writing songs um opening up like store like storefronts like hair salons barbershops like maybe going back to school, something in, in tech, you know, IT, web development, some kind of animation. It's a lot of stuff that's going on creatively inside of you. So don't forget to listen to your sacral chakra music because that's a lot of what's coming out here. And also balance it out with your solar plexus chakras. Solar plexus chakras, if you have things like citrine, topaz, tiger's eye, um golden calcite you can look up some more online essential oils would be like lemon essential oils peppermint essential oil ginger black pepper cardamom myrrh pine sage essential oils is also going to help okay all right so those are going to help too so like i said you know if you'll notice somebody's solar plexus chakras are out of alignment if there are if you have feelings of like indecision about something or con constant confusion about something or fatigue, um, like chronic fatigue, where you feel, and, and if also if you feel timid, if you are, um, or, or if somebody is like trying to bully you or they are easily enraged or, you know, that kind of thing. So for you, you can do core strengthening exercises, 
Uh, you could like core strengthening yoga or exercises. You can um, put together puzzles, you know, sunbathing, um, yantra gazing, you know, taking some kind of courageous action, like getting as far away from somebody who is burning you like a blowtorch, you know, that kind of energy, that kind of energy, that kind of energy. So again, try not to let pride get in the way. Try not to let pride get in the way of whatever it is. But I do see somebody moving on from something. I do see somebody moving on from something. So let's see what else we have here. So again, you're not looking for other people's approval because Source already approved you for an enormous amount of wealth. Also, being conservative with your money means no spending. Like no spending, like no, like, you know, I'm not saying I don't, don't buy food and the necessities. I'm saying when you feel like, okay, I got to look for this person's acceptance. So I'm going to spend my birthday money on, because remember we're in Capricorn season. I'm going to spend my birthday money to prove to them that I have extra money or that I can buy this or that I can buy that to prove to them that I'm worthy. You don't need to prove anything to anybody. Screw them for real. Like, I mean. If you ask your soul tribe sister, <laughs> screw them. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's see what else we have here. 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 Mm, mm, mm. Growth. Affirmations for growth. I am a work in progress. I release old habits and create new trails. Each day I am getting better. I am in charge of the direction of my life. I am not defined by my past. I grow through my struggles. Roadblocks create opportunity. See, some of the energies that you may have felt like were you were supposed to be connected with, they'll even try to tiptoe. I think I'm, I think in my last reading on a reading before last, I'm like, okay, Capricorn, it's birthday season. Y'all may be getting some money. You know, somebody may be giving you all some things. And money also comes in, in form of like you being connected to people too. They may start acting a little nicer um, in some way, shape, form, or fashion, whereas they didn't really seem supported before because they feel like, okay, they're getting a large amount of money. I'm going to just help you with something too. Like your ancestors are so on it and the, the, um, energy that's coming through people that again, source will use anything to block them from gaining access to what source is sending your way. Even if it makes you cry because source already sees it's like, okay, Capricorn is doing their best, like working their hardest to try to prove to somebody that they are worthy. So let's pull uh, this. Let's pull this. Yeah, let's see what else we have here. Also, somebody could have Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces because somebody is ex uh, yeah, spending a lot of energy. Like this is this a lot of a lot of emotion there. Like a lot of emotion and sources like their energy is draining. Their energy is draining you. Okay, so we got all the cards out. So that's what I have for you. That is what I have for you. That is what I have for you. That is what I have for you, Capricorn. So again, don't forget to watch my Instagram channel because I do my giveaways there. I gave away some books, you know, on the um, on the community page. It especially like for my even for my authors, like you know, if you have, if you wrote a book or something, add your book, you know, to the list. That was I, that's what I was really hoping that somebody would see the the post on social media and if you're an author no matter what your sign is um to list your book as one of the as the giveaways right so anyway that is what i have for you i will see you all on motivational monday right that's what i have for you all and i'll see you then bye